The day is finally upon us. I'm foaming at the mouth. I am so excited. <laughs> when you love trash, this is like a holiday. Hi, long time nursery. It's Editing Kinney. I'm one year older, hopefully a little bit wiser. Also, incidentally, a proud mother of a four month old Yorkie. You got anything to say? You got anything you want to say to the people? She just walked away. Oh, her name is Russet. I don't think I said that. Also known as a uh, baby tater, tater, tot, spud. I say all that to say that kids are expensive and there's actually a company that was kind enough to sponsor, <laughs> stop talking over me. There was actually a company kind enough to sponsor this uh, self-indulgent walk down memory lane. This video is sponsored by Harry's who offers quality razors at a low price. I for one will not let sexism make me buy women's razors, quote unquote. Pink tats can suck a fat one. So when I use these razors on my hairy knees, my upper lip mustache situation, I know that I'm really sticking it to gendered razor Puritan society. Harry's razors are manufactured in their own factory in Germany with high quality blades complete with a precision trimmer and flex hinge, giving you a close comfortable shave every time. They're also super stylish with different colors and finishes. I have like eight of them personally. My Favorite is the chrome, it's in my luggage. So if you would like to try out Harry's, you can try them using my link down below and you can get a set today. That set includes a five blade razor, weighted handle, a blade cover, and foaming shave gel with skin loving ingredients like aloe and hyaluronic acid. You can get that set for just $5 if you go to my link at harrys.com slash kinnyjd. Big thanks for sponsoring this walk down memory lane of chaos past, thank you. It's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up, home scale of biscuit? And happy Saturday. If you don't know what Saturday is, Saturday is when I generally do a thing called bad movies in a beat. Do you like my Britney Spears shimmy? Yeah. The series on my channel where I talk about bad movies while putting my makeup on. It is the first bad movies in a beat of 2022. I wanted to come back with a jam. It ain't, it ain't too much to jam. Ain't too much. It ain't too much to me to jam. Stripper turned detective. Need you say more. I'm really hooked already. We could honestly stop there. Doing titty ups and stuff. What do you do? <laughs> Diagnosably ashy, chronically in need of Vaseline. And it's always when your mental health is better when people want to be like, hey, you know, you were on my mind. <laughs> my future. Yeah, this virus is crazy. It really got me thinking about how I was infected by your love. And <laughs> I hope you've been good. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, uh. How do you get outdone by passion flex? How embarrassing. I can't do that. I'm only a child myself. I'm over here using tapatio on my food. And I was like, damn, I remember when she used to spice up my life. Rolls his own cigarettes. What is this, fucking Tom and Jerry? This movie really treats vitiligo as if it's a condition of simply just not lotioning. <laughs> like if you wanna get rid of vitiligo, just like spit on them and shine them through like an old spoon. <laughs> Dip them in some CLR and <laughs> hope for the best. What the <laughs> I was about to say, leave him queen. <laughs> she got beheaded. Um Michael fires the manager because he doesn't believe in Neverland. Oh, 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 no. Shout outs to Miss Myers. Bitch. There weren't even supposed to be niggas in Twilight. <laughs> if Miss Myers had any role for that, she would not have had niggas in Twilight. Any, any nigga in Twilight was begrudgingly added, trust me. Like, she doesn't believe in Neverland. See, my mama was a hooker and my daddy was a fiend. I started slaying bags of reefer by the age of 13. My nigga talks like the Riddler. If you wanted me to take my clothes off, you should have just asked. Ew. He was saying I get to see that sexy grown ass woman body on top of mine tomorrow night. because she don't believe in Neverland. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. He calls her, he's like, hey, do you want dinner? And she's like, yeah. And then she's burning a lot. <laughs> That, that'll do it. She doesn't bob and weave. She doesn't do a little juke, juke, juke. Nothing. She runs straight and gets shot. <laughs> and I laughed. I laughed. I didn't mean laugh, but it just, it left me. Don't, don't, don't.
Bobby wins the Lifetime Achievement Award, and I'm like, the is like 28. <laughs> Which, uh, well, well, <laughs> because that in fairness is kind of darkly somewhat of an omen, even maybe a little bit of a premonition type thing because, uh, he gets shot. He gets shot. At the <laughs> if you laugh, we both, I'll meet you in hell. Don't you look at me like that. Do not look at me like that. We both, you on the same elevator going down, bitch. Dead. She hella dead. She might as well be ground up and turned into spam. She's just over obliterated dead as f um <laughs> sorry it's not funny you can't even identify her body if you wanted to it's not there ashes ashes dust to dust blow her away <sighs> she gone sorry your ring is set to wombo when it's supposed to be set to m for a minute it's like i don't give a f <laughs> like i don't want to watch a movie that's about your normal ass nine to five job who wants to sit there and listen to like property rates and interest rates when I came here to watch some people slap cheeks. I am six foot tall before shoes and not including a very high haircut. No shade, just saying I have looked down at many a man who said they were six two. If I'm talking about the film, I'm gonna be honest, right? You understand that, right? And knowing that, he said, yes, of course. We would want nothing but that from you. Humiliation King, got it. Pharrell Owen. <laughs> who you owe money? <laughs> you were like, um athlete no he said he did something with a ball football is there a hoop you're 510 and we meet and it bothers you that you're shorter than me then we're not gonna work what am i gonna do what am i supposed what do you want me to do for you hun get you stilts so you feel like a man you want me to chop my knees off so that i can appeal to the patriarch like what am i supposed to <laughs> uh, low budget black film especially from tubi always feels like like a favor to a cousin who's trying to get a mixtape out neil breen is a demigod he is a walking personification of the closest thing to perfection that we humans will ever embody. And he's an incredibly humble fellow. He only played Jesus once, as far as I'm aware. People were like, Kendall, did you know they're making a second one? And about what, did she get taller? Like they accepted her at the end of the first movie at 6'1", but if she you know, went up to 6'1 and 3 fourths, like we back to square one again, I don't know. Oh! If you're going into a teen corny romantic comedy, then that's what you're gonna get. And if you want it to be like peak cinema, why are you watching Tall Girl 2? <laughs> I hate a dumb criminal. Like if you're gonna do this shit, at least do like some cyber security, do some like Death Note, light Yagami bullshit, plan it out, be creative, be smart. If you can't write a genius anime, you have no business doing crime. Side note, completely unplanned. Don't look at my sagging titties, I don't have a bra on. She need gummy shit, bitch. Girls don't like me because I watch anime. No, girls don't like you because you don't shower. Always consider the bag. And it's really frustrating to watch my queens <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting emotional. Fumble a bag for I just can't. Never. <laughs> you will never catch me so in love that I drop a bag. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> that that will not happen. I would get the roll out of spite. You think I'm gonna be so down bad that I get rid of the biggest thing in my career because you cheated on me? Absolutely not. Every time I see a woman just throw her W's to the side for a man who may or may not wipe his own ass. It breaks my heart. And this bitch don't even exist. This is a movie. Stop fumbling bags for d Imagine losing this beautiful home you have because you started having sex with like pickup artists d I would shame you. You deserve to be shamed. There's many elements about this movie that feels like, oh, I turned it in at 11.59. If you gotta be sniffing up under his ball sack to exist in a relationship, y'all don't love each other that much. Do we need to know why she's holding this gun? The reason, how she got it? Nope. We need to hear if you happy and you know it, clap that ass. No, Priorities, thank you. It's just like, ugh, oh, I don't feel like being your way to prove your manhood, like shit. The short ones love ya when you're tall, man. It's like something they can conquer, like a elk they can take down. And it's just like, leave me alone, you fuck.
in dung beetle in a world where the gooba goobs are fighting the thoroxodons a siloxamoron came in to save the world and i'm sitting here like bitch what, what the mumu the mumu got your grandmama's rent paid back shots and a mumu <laughs> go crazy it's like the ocean there's ever been such a thing as tall phobia it is that outfit hideous y'all can find any other fabric to put her in she came in with stripper heels yes, mistress. During the month of our ancestors, during Wakanda month, I'm really at the place in my life where I feel like I am too pretty to pay my own rent. Where's my Splenda father? I just want tips. What y'all got that got people paying for rent? Is my rent just too expensive or are the I date too broke? Or is my not good enough? I'm, I'm, I'm okay with criticism. Let me know. <laughs> Which one are we doing here, babe? All three? Give me tips. Like, what are you doing? Is it eating if it's eating ass, I can't do it. If it's not eating ass, what are you doing to get you to pay rent? I need to know. Uh, I wish I could live in delusion where I can murder a guy and threaten a cop with a gun and rob a gas station and get no no time out of that. <laughs> this is that thinking you get from Neverland. She don't believe in Neverland. I love that I can say that joke and there is a sizable amount of people that actually get where that comes from. That's so great. See, when you're a biscuit, you get inside jokes. She goes to jail for this man. She caught a case for this man. You can't even get me to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> A berating hot 25 year old teenagers. Berating hot 25. Can I do like a Christina Aguilar? Berating hot 25 year old teenagers. <laughs> Y'all trying it. Oh yeah, we're like 17, girl. Girl, <laughs> girl, <laughs> my side piece won the lotto. <laughs> I love black people so much. Imagine buying breakaway glass for a dramatic nut. I meant myself and my cat, Anderson Cooper. I'm not proud of laughing at the Anderson Cooper, but I did laugh at Anderson Cooper. And through all that, he was still able to finish his dissertation. <laughs> Impressive, truly. Shit, I need to level up. <laughs> Only thing stopping me from aiming higher is depression. Like sure, it's not as bad as being homeless or food insecure or, or a minority, but you know, my hurt still, <laughs> my hurt is still hurt, you know? I don't even want you anymore. All I want is the drugs and the money. At least she's honest. At least she's straightforward. I wish more of us were more upfront with our intentions. It's the movie about the girl with a butthole for a mouth and a mouth for a butthole. I don't deserve you. You deserve so much better than me. Damn, thanks for letting me know. I was about to slum it. So today we're returning to some hood nonsense. Amen, hallelujah. He calms down, he chills out, stops them from getting like a public indecency charge. I mean, I'd be into it, but I'm afraid of the law. <laughs> I'm afraid to catch a charge just because I wanted to get clapped next to a statue of David. Beyonce! Beyonce! All on his mouth like liquor. I'm too classy for this world. Ooh, baby. Oh, I send you with my love. Ooh, baby. Baby, hold me like you don't want to let go. I'm feeling foxy, but you're working it out. I don't know you. I know the Derek that told me everything. Oh, come on. True. Love is such a I have no idea who you are. Sharon, I was wrong. If I hadn't gone to the ER, if I hadn't called Ben, would you have even told me about this? You're crazy. Of course I would have told you. you giving me a taste of your honey. I want the whole behind. Category, sexy bitch. I'm the bar, alien superstar. What will people do when they find out that you're 23 and sexually active? You whore, you old scarlet bitch whore. Sure, you are committed to Billy. I don't like relationships. I don't do relationships. I don't see why any of these two things um, should stop us from knowing each other in a biblical sense. Not trying to typecast her. She's also been known to participate a little bit in music, supposedly in that order. In that order, in that order, in that order, in that order. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so funny. She's like, I'm starting to believe all the good ones are taken. I'm jealous of your wife. She has everything, the perfect husband, perfect child, marriage. He looks like mega chips. <laughs> he does! <laughs> I've said this before, I'm of the school of thought that men are nothing to fight over. I think it's tacky and ghetto and it sets the movement back, personally. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not funny, Rob, I still have it so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so dead. Oh my god. What is with this movie's obsession with giving good? <laughs> you were completely undermined as a woman because you don't know how to give sloppy toppy like I do. Oh, bitch. Aim higher. I'm better because I've sacrificed my gag reflex for a man. What have you done? It's like, bitch. I can eat food and not choke to death. I go so hard, I don't even have to chew my food anymore. <laughs> so like, for a man, ew, gross. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing so hard because it's so stupid. It shouldn't be laughing. Oh I need a minute. <laughs> I barely fight for my own mental health and you want me to fight for a man? Like, oh my God. If I was single. But you're not! Where's my gavel? Objection! Move along! <laughs> so confused. No, I don't know why something broke! <laughs> something broke in me! <laughs> Especially when I am unsullied, untouched, like newly fallen snow. <laughs> I know nothing of sex because the only bruises on my knees are from hours of prayer and devotion to Christ. <laughs> Not that I know from experience, it's the only wood in my life I knock on for good fortune. <laughs> Virginity is a social construct anyway. I'm a virgin. <laughs> on the right day. <laughs> Any man that's had sex with me know you haven't. No ma'am! Just wipe your clean, get tested, and there's no proof that anybody's been in there. I've always said that if you leave without any bugs that you can't get rid of, and you leave without kids, you a virgin. Roll your mouths back and just keep a step and leave this alone. Motherfuckers will complain about putting on condoms, then have a breeding kink, and then get mad when you get pregnant, and then vote against abortion. <laughs> no one I've ever had sex with, because I've never had sex, I'm a virgin, I don't count these. I feel like I should preface this, I should have prefaced it before. It is Canadian. What does that add to this? It being Canadian. <laughs> what is it? Like, it's Christmas, but it smells like maple syrup. Yes, I enjoyed your husband. Now, again, I don't believe in fighting over men, but I do believe in fighting over disrespect. She would get drowned. <laughs> Beat her ass. You aren't like the most actualized woman until you're amphibious. You don't even have to breathe air. I'll have you out here singing Keely Williams. <laughs> Was spectacular. Getting sick and tired of it, broken promises, promises. <laughs> That's fucked up. She had a speech impediment. Stop fighting over men and start stealing. I <laughs> can I say that? <laughs> I know that he's starting to fall into a bad crowd because he starts hanging out with old friends, and there's black people in that friend group. <laughs> He's like, how can this be? I'm I'm so strict about my one drop rule. How can I be? How can I be? How can I be in love with a mulatto? A half breed, no less. <laughs> oh my ass. Oh God. <laughs> Me? Pretty thin white woman? You threw me out of your car, you porch monkey. It's like we've never seen him with any of these people before, but you know he's really slumming it cause there's some niggas in the room. <laughs> told me that I'm not entitled to BBC. Madness, truly. May is like, oh, you can't be in Brightmoor. That is where they spin the block. No, I'm sorry. When she gets there, she sees Harden all hugged up on another woman. 
a black one, no less. <laughs> Loki, one of my irrational anxieties, not that irrational the way the internet works, but um, one of my anxieties I've talked to my therapist about, a joke like that being taken out of context. <laughs> I always thought she was a little shady. I guess one of my concerns is that satire assumes that uh, the audience is smart. <laughs> Not, because mm. at first I was like, is that a reach to make that correlation? But I don't, there might be some racial undertone. <laughs> Here's the thing, this is a side note, this is just, <laughs> Kendall's opinions on foot fetishes. <laughs> Buster is a turtle looking mother who rides a bike that's just a hair too short for him. Nope, peace, get out my face, bitch. I'm about to go take a piss and I'm going home. Today we're talking about Tangled, not to be confused with the bitch with the bundles that lives in the tower. And so throughout the course of this movie, they're gonna continue to try to figure out ways to pay back the, um, most intimidating man on the block. Patriarchy don't help anybody. Boom, boom, boom. Rape culture. Boom, boom, boom. Sex. Well, how you expect me to keep being fresh if I don't have my money? Oh, figured it out. Nigga look like Squirtle. Interesting and terrifying about this movie is that it's told from the man's point of view. Egad, the horror. Until then, I suggest maybe the four seasons. Okay, that was good that time. It's just, she's just inconsistent. We just need the consistency up. They call me okay. When you start off the movie, she still has that horrible blonde wig on. Not all of us are um, natural blondes. Isn't Mercury and Serenade or rollerblades or micro braids or whatever's going on? And then she sees his horrible blue contact. I not all of us can wear cuffs. <laughs> I was watching this with a friend and she brought up how he kind of looks like G.O. from M Black if he were biracial. And that's such a specific <laughs> comment that is incredibly funny. If <laughs> you got the reference, that's a very, very esoteric reference. But if you get it, it's very, very funny. <laughs> he couldn't intimidate his way into a vehicle. Maybe along with being endlessly patient and intimidating, he's also an environmentalist. I don't know, it just seems really early into your relationship to go straight into like mini golf. But she's like, oh my God, my betrothed. You did it while I was taking a dookie. That's how I know I love you. Everybody continue to watch Entertain the People TV. Oh, uh, uh, you're like, oh yeah, it's definitely almost over now, but he, he just keeps going. What was I talking about? Riding in my feet. I know you like to see it. Six feet two in the compact. No slack, but luckily the seats won't back. But need, I don't know what it is. Thank you, Uncle Pokey. That, that's enough now. They both better people than I am. She tries to help her up. My hands sweat. I don't want to get that on you. Just trying to be considerate. I believe I'll never defeat it. I'm just one more chance to make sure that she will be my one and only. Just people fucking and frolicking to 120 BPM. Definitely. She'll be my queen. <laughs> Thank you. The fat man's got his eye on you, kid. Wow. That's really f***ing dumb. Oh my God. She turns to Drew and she's like, wow, we're doing, it's going well. Don't you think it's going well? And he's like, yeah, cause you got your tits out. Just put them in his face already. You're over here looking like a slut. Uh, the human cloner or whatever looks like a giant instant pot. Release the pressure valve and then you have a pot roast of a human being. <laughs> is that each song sounds like almost someone else, if you get my drift. Not quite Ariana Grande. Almost Ed Sheeran. Could have been Calvin Harris. It's so distracting. I forgave your husband Charles a long time ago for trying to kill me. What? I decided to cook her at 400 for five minutes this time to get like a good crust. But unfortunately it's too much pressure and she explodes like a soup dumpling. Comes in with a full 2013 Tumblr edit. Never before have I seen two men that made me jealous of rotisserie chickens. <laughs> 
you get that when you're older. I guess the solution to all their problems has always been threatening children all along. Merry Christmas. Keep it real all the time with everything that I do. Always. You know what it's hitting for. <laughs> And I get it because insurance companies can suck my ass. Like, yeah, those fillings we said we're gonna cover, uh, no, we're not. Pay $600. Like, what do I do? Do I just give them back? Like, the f Ew, misogynistic dickhead. We are, I'm not a pimp. She's not a whore. And I was like, you were basically saying she was like five minutes ago. Usually insurance companies are way too busy f***ing people over by not starting their coverage so that they have to pay $600 for a Feel it. Just take it. Just take the tooth at this point. He comes in, supposedly the gardener, barely has tools, didn't see him shovel shit the whole movie, and not a single seed was planted in the ground. Look at his profile. That man is an Adonis. Are we supposed to just run, oh yeah, Christmas tidings. I want to smash. I'm gonna introduce y'all to my squishmallows. This is Squiggles, the octopus. They come with names. But my names are better. So Squiggles, Whaley, who may actually be a dinosaur, but Whaley, Tim, Tim's my favorite. It's an avocado toast. And he real thick, junk in the a whole loaf of bread. And finally, my newest addition, Kelly the Crab. Why do you give her a turban? It's a bubble tea. It's Bubbles the Bubble Tea. Bearthony, the big ass tie dye bear. I think I named this one Randy the Rainbow Rabbit. This one doesn't have much structural integrity. I, I think they skipped out on the stuffing on this one. But you're still so soft. I love you so much. <laughs> the avocado. You make me want a green goddess salad. That's gonna be lunch for today. <laughs> it's Penny the Pineapple. <laughs> Get to name her, but I think she's a peppermint mocha. Farah. Farah the Peppermint Frappuccino. I will collect so many of these that my entire apartment will be a giant Squishmallow. I could be doing crack cocaine. All I do is watch shitty movies and buy Squishmallows. Hey, slow down! Would you watch where you're going? They over. Oh, is it Jennifer Lopez? with coercive douchebags who use their power to influence women to do blah blah and i'm like aren't you trying to fuck her and you're the boss's son this movie certainly was one the film is what it is it, it's a, a film with lines in it. Talk about how she felt about him the first time they met. And for some reason she says, it was one of the only times that I wished I were single. And I'm like, this interaction? It has been a pleasure. You let me take you out of here tonight and I will give the word pleasure a whole new meaning. The one that I saw too, the one that we all saw, that was the one that we're like, damn, I wish I could do it. I wish I were si like this nigga. No, it's uh, okay. That's Wallace. That's me when they come over and they see my Squishmallow collection. <laughs> I am br- I am good. Oh! So now we have to have GQ Fall Catalog get together and just walk very model-esquely with guns to figure out where Laura is because they done lost the bitch again. <laughs> and just to prove my point, I looked up SAT words. Antediluvian, adroit. Cacophonous, encumbrance, flummox, ignominy. And this nigga getting folded by mourn, to mourn, like a basic part of like the English language. My uh, fellow Americans, me, me and Michelle are- Jojo, yeah, I know, right? Get out, leave, Jojo. It's just a little too late, a little too wrong, and I can't wait, you know, all the right things to say. You know, it's just a little too late. Anyway, so basically he's Mossimo, just tweaking and with dry mouth. The thing that probably didn't age the best was more so uh, like the cultural references. And for some reason thinking that there's a vegetarian to lesbianism pipeline. <laughs> Always wondered whether or not the baby would look like you a lot. Of he's not a god, he's full of doo-doo. <laughs> Sorry. Is it just me or does this guy look like a douchebag to you too? 
No, not particularly. He looks kind of like a hamster with intelligence. <laughs> like a hamster with a lot to say. The hats my dad was trying to buy me when I said I wanted a, just like a winter hat for Christmas. He was giving Are me that ass. He sent me pictures of like a red church hat. Like I was Carmen San Diego. So whenever I hear somebody say doo-doo or boo-boo, I just lose my mind. <laughs> I am 27 because here comes Billy singing his sad <laughs> songs like I want you back flowers and shit on the floor. Somebody got to clean that up. I am crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Consent is a thing that you should ask for and give enthusiastically if you actually want to have the sex. Yeah. What's it like to have magical titties? I hate Detroit rap. It is the worst shit ever made. Not people that make rap music in Detroit. Detroit rap music. There is a difference. My only issue with this scene is that this is not a slow dancing song. They're like slow dancing to mid-tempo house. Baby, you're making me want you. He looks like Splinter. Who is he? No, I know who Splinter is. No, who is he in the movie? Like, oh, we're just so toxic for each other, but it's exciting. And it's like, y'all do know that being happy <laughs> is an option, right? Ends up confronting Dennis Rodman, who looks like he will f anybody up. He's been f us up since the 90s. I would not, I don't know if he's sober these days, but when he was high as a kite, marrying himself. This movie is produced by... <clears throat> Light Skin Films. Yes, this movie is being brought to you by Redbone Recording. <laughs> Joan, just simply the cover of this film was told the people that were in it. And I said, absolutely not. You cannot pay me to watch this movie, but apparently you can't. Sometimes a guy can't become a man until he meets the right woman. Turn the shit off. <laughs> you haven't met the right woman, so that's the reason why you can't like take responsibility for your incredibly weird and coercive and abusive actions because I haven't met somebody else who takes that responsibility away from me. And until I meet a good woman, I'm still gonna be a dick because it's not my responsibility to be a better person. It's yours. And if I haven't met that theoretical person yet, I'm still gonna be trash. <laughs> She's gonna kill her and sneak away to freedom with Barack's. They misspelled Detroit. They spelled it Detriot. Detriot. And this is a typo that comes up several times. <laughs> like as a bitch who is prone to typos, especially on Twitter. I know why mine look like that. Cause I just be tweeting shit and send it out to the ether. No regard. Let it go into the wild and fly on its own. But this is a movie. <laughs> and it's also like a movie that's very much so like I'm putting on for my city. I'm doing shit for Detroit. This is what Detroit is. And you don't even spell it right. Man, if I can go to Ivy League by putting out pussy, I see why someone would. I suddenly no longer think of you as the personification of a yeast infection. Hey, get your maid bitch ass on. <laughs> maid, you should in your maid outfit. Hey maid. I say you got on your may I feel like you always do. <laughs> <laughs> this story is about the trail and error of countless artists searching for their dreams. The journey will forever be lived and forever be heard. Through the eyes of Detroit, it is time to be felt. Th through the eyes of De well at least they spelled detroit right never mind never mind <laughs> the year is the triot 2050 uh -oh. bacon really is good if she was muslim <laughs> something so peculiar so off kilter that it achieves that beautiful you meant to make a good movie but you made this phenomenon the showgirls of Sorry, I got distracted by my puff. Feels like a circle jerk of soliloquy. The least you could do is like hang out with age appropriate crackheads. <laughs> I still don't really know what they, why they needed him in this movie other than to be sexy. That's a sexy old man. I'm not looking for a father figure, but I am looking for a daddy. You're not that type of person. Wasn't he making out with you and you were underage? Well, we're in love. Bitch, shut up. You a victim. Are you sure you want to do this? I killed He got some big old titties. You right. He got some big old tits. Big old. Come on. Come on. 
my face in the milk. I also find it very weird the amount of conservatives that match with me on Bumble. It feels like a threat. You see me, uh, ostentatiously Negro, and you're like, ooh, she's my, I'm not racist. I got a black girlfriend card. Let's go for that. Absolutely not. You can suck my ass. As a bitch that's been both applauded and criticized for using gratuitously large words, gr like gratuitous, <laughs> in both video and day-to-day -day speech, uh, but baby, know what the words mean. <laughs> like, like, yeah, you can fix my pipes. Can I use your phone? I can use your phone. She doesn't say that, but it's the vibe. <laughs> Takes that wet with dead body and vomit, puts it around his eyes. He's like, why is it wet? And she's like, how do you think it got that way? I wouldn't personally speak on my pussy like that. <laughs> But, you know, he just think it's a little pungent. <laughs> Me, they spell it wrong again. What did we learn about our agree to disagree relationships when you woke up without rights and suddenly he's like, well, imagine knowingly f***ing a man who doesn't believe in you having rights. Embarrassing. <laughs> it stars Jack Nicholson and Jack Nicholson's face, which has terrified me since childhood. Have you ever seen a film get insecure i gotta say they casted beautifully for this movie because again jack nicholson's face base i may base i may mucho como si fuera esta noche la ultima this is the one that I feel like has aged the best because of jack nicholson's face so we're good enough to fight for your ass but not good enough to touch it these are the words of a man that gets absolutely no pity. These are the words of a man who masturbates with a delicate pinching movement as if he's picking up a stray nickel from the ground. These are the words of a man who has taken his pants off and all he's been met with was sadness, pity, and confusion. Maybe a question or two about what exactly am I supposed to do with it? Floss. Gabriel gets upset, punches a wall, breaks like a knuckle or something. That shit is not normal. That shit is not cute. I've heard of a lot of dudes that do that. And then want to talk about how emotional women are. I have all my knuckles or eye makeup smudged and she's just taking insulin, but it looks like she's riding that brown tiger to heaven a million pages thick. And she's like, I got to make sure it's every single one because maybe it was a typo somewhere along the way. It's like, dun, 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 Kiss. Kiss. Do it for me. You can't do that. My dad's retired military police and this is fraud. So I guess you're gonna just have to suck it up and die. Cause the last thing we'd want to do is hurt the government's feelings or some shit. Runs away like this. <laughs> ah! Ah! Forget about it. Don't forget about it. You just got your memory back. <laughs> I had a three ounce glass of wine and I'm a little bit turned. Imagine bullying the girl with superpowers. That doesn't even make sense to me. Okay. Uh, I'm too cool a guy to be literate. But there's also a paranoid part of me that's like, is it that you said, ah ha ha, you really funny because you think I'm really funny? Or is it like a, ah ha ha, real funny cause <laughs> you got a giggle out of me. <laughs> Maybe a chortle or two. And if I ever see you, I'll let you know how you had me giggling merrily. It's like, well, he was so bullied in school and he, you know, had a rough time at home. Bitch, and he came there to just play the band. He don't even know that bitch. And now he did. Electrocuted alive. Like, what the fuck? There ain't nothing a man can pay me to get on my last nerves dog like oh in fairness i let get on my nerves for free so but i wish y'all would just call yourself polyamorous and call it a day this movie is hilarious this movie is so unintentionally funny to me next thing you know you hear keith scream and i'm sitting there like dude we don't even know him enough to go saving <laughs> 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 With a rugged man <laughs> who lived off the grid. <laughs> Christmas has come twice this year, which is only slightly less than people in this movie. Father Chorus, Karis, Karas. Father, he was kind of cute. Hey daddy, I mean father. I would take it to the hilt. Careful, cause it might get a little rowdy pow pow in here or whatever. I don't know what the streets do. <laughs> Is that what they do, pow pow? A kind hearted black boy who plans to return from war. 
He ain't gonna make it. I highly recommend you watching my two videos on them because I'm really funny and they're somehow miraculously not demonetized. <laughs> Guess who comes wanting to talk to her man? Hairline. At least in this clip, she seems to have figured it out. She pushed it back. It goes back, by the way. It's like a slinky. Somebody was like, damn, she hasn't done her makeup in weeks. That depression must be hidden. <laughs> and I was like, ah, you, sit down. You're right, but you ain't gonna say it. We don't have the budget for press. Budget? We don't have the budget. We got the princess coming in, but she can't lend to Zala. This incredibly, hilariously unlikely situation where I would ever go to jail for a man. Um, there's no way you would hear the end of it. Everything you ask of me is a no. No, I can't cook you shit. You were surviving those six months when I was away in jail. Baby, can you do this? You figured out how to do it when I was away in jail. Get your girl. Excuse no. me? Get no, it. he doesn't get me. Yeah, That's does. enough. Both of you, sit down. You bitch, you better stand up. <laughs> bitch, you better stand up. You better lock your knees. I'm too afraid to publish my screenplay. I'm too afraid to publish my movie. What if you end up doing it on bad movies in a beat? Then you're doing better than other people. Somebody's gonna watch it now. You know what this terrible f movie does? It wants us to feel bad for him. So guess what happened? Yes. Yes, bitch. She gives him pity. The whole diatribe he went on about the strong resilience of the penis. And he just lays there like a dead roly poly in the sun. You a bitch. Walking in red bottoms. I hope you broke orphans get something one day. And you're a princess in your heart. But not in any of the monetary ways that it matters. Let it my fears go. Let it my heart go. And won't you run to run? Like, girl, shut the f up. Damn. It's like you're fighting me. It's like you're mad that I told you to shut the f up. And now they've gotten louder. Do you want to go? I don't think I could ever be what you really want. Are you listening? She's gay. Ah, the gay agenda! You would be who you are for <laughs> your parade. Well, we can't have her doing Olympic marathon bouts of sex and also be on the brink of death if she like takes a Peloton class. This is revenge. I couldn't eat, <laughs> so I couldn't sleep. And the stress made me lose my child. This guy sucks, man! <laughs> guy is garbage! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you hate him! You hate him! He's so fine. My God. His hair luscious. Beard luscious. Shoulders, immaculate. Teeth, yes. They're probably veneers, but they're very good. Like, I was definitely up next, bitch. You took my space. You live in Idaho. You don't know him. Oh, he just wants to be a normal boy. What the f this gotta do with Christmas? <laughs> if you look like Monty Teo now, not before, now. <laughs> my DMs are very open, baby. I cook. And the cat is is well above average, just saying. I already soft launched that joke on Twitter. It did very well. Anyway, <laughs> that is what I call a filler arc. They are full bleach mode. What in the one piece is this shit? Messy. Can we just pretend this never happened? <gasps> Yes, you heard me. Your ears are fine. This mother burn her house down. Mind you, mind you, mind you. This seems to be a connected condo. So fuck everybody, your baby on the third floor. Well, that motherfucker got to learn one day. Your granny who can't get up because her hip ain't too great. Well, she's about to be singing in Jesus's choir because he's mad. Because Harnin's inside. <laughs> so he has to commit felony property damage. F you. Personally, I'm prison averse. So the idea of possibly killing him with anaphylactic shot for petty revenge, though, 
It's a bit much. Uh, he gets booped on the nose and offer a titty. No! This is perfectly natural. <gasps> like how else are you supposed to ignore that you're getting systematically decapitated by your hairdresser? Unless you're sitting there watching Beyonce, my wife, Rihanna, my girlfriend, but neither of them are winning over my mother, Whitney Houston. Let's switch n****s. Let's switch Let's switch n****s. That was low, even for you. Bitch, you tried to kill him with cat fur and got him arrested. She strides into Massimo's meeting like a GTA hooker, respectfully. Maybe he's in his Shyamalanification period. I applaud you, sir, cause you've given me some great memes in the last 48 hours. <laughs> I command a dramatic out of you. I command you to feel that stuff. Flirts his way into selling things, which you know what I can't even get mad at him for. He'd probably get my ass. This is our new crib set. I'll take it. I didn't know you had any kids. I don't. I can. We can get to working on it. Woo! What in the old trick? <laughs> For $36 on Sam's Beauty, we could get a sensational. There is no excuse for this, mama. They got musk money. This is offensive. Oh, you fed me, whore! Lol, why her face so animated right there? It was like Yzma. They get home, he's mad, he's drunk. And uh, the bang, 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 bang. Who could possibly be at the door? The goodest boy you've ever seen, get your royal! Did you know that fighter jets are actually made by elves in Alaska? How did we get here? To cheat on somebody that never did you wrong is some evil shit to do. You don't give a fuck about their emotional well being, their physical well being, their sexual health, their ability to trust you or other people in the future. I think cheating should only be done uh, as an act of revenge because, again, you gotta hate that motherfucker. I'm not, by the way, I'm not condoning cheating. I'm just saying, if you're gonna cheat, like as we talked about in the 365 days, you do it with somebody that uh, cheated on you. And then you leave them. Don't continue the relationship. That ain't like a tit for tat thing. It's just like, I hate you, I wanna do this. Yeah. That's my toxic advice of the week. There you go. <laughs> or no, I shouldn't say that. The, the true answer to that is leave the relationship and go to therapy and heal. But the fun answer is <laughs> in here condoning cheating don't get it twisted but if you're gonna cheat on somebody let it be your verbally emotionally and otherwise abusive boyfriend or husband if you're gonna cheat you might as well do it to a bad person no no don't do this look at me you're better than this <laughs> you can't do this you're gonna get arrested oh my god but i guess you're supposed to think that your hand on a titty is supposed to bring love into your life Okay. <laughs> Why he walk like he got a turd on the brink of escape? Where were you? Where were you? I was, you lied to me. And Vance is like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Where were you? One man's spiritualism is another man's drugs. And I, and I think it's drugs. I think there might be a little tweaking involved, but anyway. Please don't leave me. And I'm like, girl, you are embarrassing yourself. Like the furniture can hear you. There's nobody else here, but the furniture. Massimo's PR has been declining since a 4.2 in the first movie. Ever since the opening season, he's been batting like a 170 each time these movies run out the assembly line. I love how I said that as if I didn't just look up what a bad batting average is for that joke. My mother is somewhere turning in her grave. Have I taught you nothing? Not a damn thing. Like, I ain't got time for this shit. Let's blow it up. That's just me. I'm not a fucking assassin. I'm over here on online COD cussing out a 12 year old for calling me a <laughs> These are not the same. If you're a professional, <laughs> if you're a professional, be professional. Put your professional hat on, sir, you're sloppy. I learned then that the power in any relationship resides with the one who cares less. Or, or, no, don't do that. I was there before, go to therapy. Your daddy had attachment issues. All over my prints. You getting juices and berries all over my prints? There is no, it is disrespectful that any movie on Passion Flix is over 90 minutes. There is nothing you have to say that is worth saying over 90 minutes on Passion Flix. You have got to be out of your cotton picking mind. Wait, I gotta talk to my kidnapper about it. What? Run your necklace, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Run it right now in the name of the king. Like sure, Billy's a little shit, but he's not a little shit for no reason. He didn't just pop out the 
be wanting to light people on fire because he's not being affirmed. Peace. <laughs> Disappear. Houdini. Like, I am out. These motherfuckers just walking around buying sandals and beignets and having consensual sex in a club and they still getting taken out. So I'm like, is it that they're actually bad or are y'all racist? <laughs> Being that it is a scary movie, a lot of people like me to watch it so that if you're weenings that you don't get scaled. Like a cute little baby that you are, you little punk ass bitch. <laughs> so a little punk bitches like me to watch it so they don't get scaled, we will we. I'm not me giving the assassin pointers. <laughs> this is how you hide a body. Do you not like my cooking? Do you think I'm ugly? Like what if, what was I insufficient in that made you treat me like this? Like, why are you treating me like this? And I felt so sad. Cause I'm like, it's not you BB. He just sucks ass. If Edward and Jacob were willing to die <laughs> for this boring bitch with no personality. She got the personality like the scent of pine saw and y'all were willing to go to war to protect her. You telling me that you couldn't be in an open relationship? Low key Jacob would have been a little gay because how are you imprinting on Bella's eggs when Edward's nutsack is right there too? Something's not adding up Miss Myers. Something's not adding up. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy. You, you do it. You do it. All this and babies in there need actual help. Don't worry. <laughs> no, you cool. over here canoodling with the clips and shit. Imagine we could end a mob turf war just because they didn't feel like it was a safe space to articulate their bisexuality. And you're like, oh, we want to have a threesome? We come together, we be a people <laughs> and realize that this is what we are. The world is actually about make a brighter day for you and me. I love a bearded man. Um, I've only dated two guys who were clean shaven and I regret both of them deeply. <laughs> um, the other, I mean, I, I regret the other ones too, but, <laughs> but like, I really regret, I didn't even get a beard out of it. Oh my God. Ivy nearly stabs her eye out. I like it. No talking, no messing around, just efficiency. Good on her. But the more I'm reading, the more I realize this shit is just doohickeys. It's just do, it's just some kafuddle, some why nots on screen for an hour and 17 minutes because the only CBT you need is the puss. Okay. Ah, you know, <laughs> that's my impersonator. Ah! You and I both know that you can't give her what she needs. And that is stopping her from finding someone who will. You better preach, amen, send a bucket around. Believing you changed for allowing myself to fall for I you. I love you. What? <laughs> and I think he is an idiot for throwing that all away just to get high. Uh, I mean, I'm one to talk, aren't I? There you go. Oh my God, Keith, where did you go, Keith? He's like, shut the fuck up. Something's strong here. We gotta, keep, we gotta go. We gotta go. Gets a jackhammer. Ah! He's just looking at the toilet. He don't have a tool out. I mean, no tools, but he does bring a piece. going through a lot i'm sorry i shouldn't laugh oh my god like putting a gen one apple controller in a new phone imagine getting killed in a secret passageway in the basement with doodle -doo still cake between your booty cheeks not by choice but by circumstance that's embarrassing this bitch is incestuous. I know it's not in like the, the traditional sense, but the, this feels very incestuous. You bitches incestuous. Anyway, she ends it at all. And I'm the only mother that started cheering. And then I felt real awkward because nobody else didn't. I didn't cheer. I was like, yes. Like just this, <laughs> this is little voice in the back. Yes. Before watching the movie, just based off of your knowledge of Hallmark-esque Christmas film, what do you think this movie is going to be like? Tried not to be selfish, but he couldn't help thinking about the little versions of him she couldn't give him. <laughs> Santa, who is in a fight against a hired assassin who was commissioned by a rich 12 year old who was pissed off that he got coal for Christmas. It came out in 2020. I don't know what other excuse I really have. Well, that's supreme hating. You about to sacrifice somebody's life. To be a hater. Who? Oh. 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 Bro, that to purposely how, hurt you. How did you think I was gonna feel? Well, it's not all about you. And then the little girl's gonna be like, 
daddy, I want a mommy. And he's like, oh, I know, mommy died a very long time ago. Confusing, but maybe not some kid has his heart open beating right now hey gotta shut it all down man <laughs> shut it all down the prince is coming we'll let you die for at least the 15 minutes to get you to a lower floor and then we'll figure it out can't a guy compliment his sister without wanting something y'all are related yeah my blood yeah, that's, I know, shut up. You taught me the true meaning of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the end of this f***ing movie. Stupid as shit. <laughs> oh my god. God bless you all who make terrible movies, but do it because you know that you have the right. <laughs> because you make the world go round, baby. You are very good for my business and I really appreciate it.